This is Titan, a moon larger than the planet Mercury orbiting Saturn. For decades, scientists have been fascinated by this moon. Beneath its thick clouds, vast seas, lakes, and rivers have been discovered, flowing across its frozen surface. It's the only place in the solar system besides Earth where liquid exists on the surface. So, could the seas and lakes on Titan potentially support life? And if so, what might that life look like? You're watching Z. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Titan is a truly enigmatic place. Despite visits from four different spacecraft, it still holds many mysteries. Questions remain, such as the origin of its thick atmosphere, how its lakes and seas formed, and whether it has the potential to support life. Speculation about large bodies of liquid on Titan dates back to the Voyager probes in the early 1980s. But it wasn't until the Cassini spacecraft's visit in 2006 that they were confirmed. Unlike Earth's oceans, which consist of water, Titan's lakes and seas are composed of liquid methane and ethane. These lakes and seas, as revealed by radar images, are primarily located in Titan's polar regions and can be quite large, some as vast as the Great Lakes in North America. These bodies of liquid are fed by rivers that cut through Titan's icy landscape with depths reaching over 200 meters, 656 feet, in some areas. The formation of Titan's lakes and seas remains a mystery, but they are thought to result from the breakdown of methane and nitrogen in its atmosphere, which condense into clouds and fall as rain or snow. On Earth, life plays a significant role in maintaining the methane levels in our atmosphere, as methane is a byproduct of the metabolism of many organisms. Could the methane on Titan indicate the presence of life? If there is life on Titan, it would be very different from life on Earth. The absence of liquid water means that life as we know it, which depends on water, cannot exist there. With temperatures around 179 degrees Celsius, 290 degrees Fahrenheit, the environment is extremely cold and harsh for Earth-like life forms. However, this doesn't rule out the possibility of life on Titan. Some Earth microorganisms can survive in hydrocarbons, which is what Titan's lakes are primarily made of. Any life on Titan would have to be adapted to an environment vastly different from Earth's, possibly with a biochemistry that uses hydrocarbons like methane and ethane instead of water. This would require a completely different cellular structure. On Earth, Cell membranes are composed of lipids, which form barriers due to their interaction with water. But Titan's lakes contain no water, and its cold temperatures would freeze earthly life solid. However, another molecule, like acrylonitrile, could potentially perform a similar function and survive in Titan's harsh conditions. Scientists have found evidence of acrylonitrile on Titan in quantities that could theoretically support millions of single-celled organisms. So, could microorganisms form the foundation of a complex ecosystem on Titan? Possibly, with larger organisms feeding on them. However, we don't yet have enough information to know what kind of life, if any, exists on Titan. The only probe to land on its surface was the Huygens probe in 2005, which provided stunning images and data for about 90 minutes after landing. It revealed a flat, pebble-strewn plain that may have once been covered in flowing liquid methane, but no signs of life were detected. The methane in Titan's atmosphere is likely due to outgassing rather than biological activity. When Titan formed, it was probably too hot for volatile compounds like methane and nitrogen to remain on the surface, so they were trapped inside the moon. Over time, heat from Titan's interior escaped, allowing these compounds to emerge and form the thick atmosphere we see today. So, if Titan's methane isn't a sign of life, does that mean the moon is sterile? Perhaps not. 
Observations suggest Titan may have a subsurface ocean of liquid water beneath its icy crust. If this ocean exists, it could potentially support life, as water is crucial for life as we know it. However, this ocean would be extremely cold and salty, presenting unique challenges for any potential life forms. Titan's unique environments could potentially harbor life, both as we understand it and in forms we can't yet imagine. Although there is no definitive evidence of life on Titan, its complex chemistry and intriguing environments make it a prime candidate for future exploration. Future explor One of the most exciting upcoming missions is NASA's Dragonfly, which will send a rotorcraft lander to explore Titan's surface. Scheduled to launch in 2027 and arrive in 2034, Dragonfly will visit multiple sites, including dunes, craters, and the equatorial region to investigate the potential for liquid water and conditions that could support life. As we continue to explore the outer solar system, Titan stands out as a fascinating destination with the potential to reshape our understanding of the universe. With its methane lakes and potential subsurface ocean, Titan is a unique world. Will we one day find life on this distant, hazy moon, proving we're not alone in the universe? Only time will tell. Titan is a world of extremes. Its surface temperature hovers around 179 degrees Celsius, 290 degrees Fahrenheit, making it inhospitable by earthly standards. Unlike Earth, where water exists as a liquid, Titan's lakes and rivers are composed of liquid methane and ethane. The moon's thick atmosphere, primarily composed of nitrogen with a small amount of methane, is four times denser than Earth's, creating a hazy orange shroud around the moon. Despite these harsh conditions, Titan shares some surprising similarities with Earth. It has a weather system, complete with clouds, rain, and even seasons. These factors contribute to a dynamic surface landscape featuring dunes, lakes, and mountains sculpted by the interactions between atmospheric and surface processes. The question of life on Titan revolves around the potential for biochemistry that could thrive in such an alien environment. Life as we know it on Earth is based on water as a solvent for biochemical reactions. However, Titan's extreme cold and lack of liquid water present a challenge to this model. Instead, scientists have speculated about the possibility of life as we don't know it. Life forms that use liquid methane or ethane as a solvent. This hypothetical life would have to rely on entirely different biochemistry, possibly using hydrocarbons instead of water. For instance, Cell membranes could be made from acrylonitrile, a molecule that can form stable structures in liquid methane. Such organisms might metabolize by processing hydrogen and acetylene, with methane acting as a byproduct in a similar way to how Earth's organisms use oxygen and produce carbon dioxide. Recent Discoveries and Theories one of the most tantalizing discoveries came from the Cassini spacecraft, which detected complex organic molecules in Titan's atmosphere. These molecules, including hydrogen cyanide and acetylene, are considered precursors to more complex organic chemistry, possibly leading to the development of life. Additionally, the presence of a subsurface ocean of water mixed with ammonia beneath Titan's icy crust raises the possibility of an entirely different habitat for life, akin to the hydrothermal vent ecosystems on Earth. Researchers have also identified an unexpected feature in Titan's atmosphere, a significant depletion of hydrogen near the surface. This anomaly could potentially be explained by biological processes as a form of life might consume hydrogen as a source of energy. While this is not definitive evidence of life, it is a compelling puzzle piece that scientists are eager to investigate further. The weird and wonderful potential of Titanian life. If life exists on Titan, it would likely be unlike anything we have ever encountered. The moon's unique conditions, 
could give rise to organisms with entirely novel biochemical processes, challenging our understanding of life itself. For instance, the potential use of hydrocarbons as a medium for life processes opens the door to a broader definition of habitability in the universe. Moreover, the discovery of such life would have profound implications for our understanding of the origins of life. It would suggest that life can arise in environments vastly different from Earth, increasing the likelihood that life could exist elsewhere in the cosmos. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And I'll see you next time.